Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Chris and my group is Find Your High Vibe and my page is Find Your High Vibe Healing. So um, I've started listening to a little Abraham Hicks every morning, which is really good to lighten up, lighten up a little bit and not hold on tightly to everything that I want or think I need to do. And um, so I, I came up with this amusing connection to Abraham Hicks. Um, so I got my last haircut at the end of February. And when I was leaving, you know, they asked if you want to set up your next appointment. And I used to do that all the time because my hair was so short and you have to stick to that six weeks. And this time I got my hair cut pretty short. So end of February, what is this? March, April, May. So this is three months. Um, so yeah, I made an appointment. It was supposed to be April 15th and that didn't happen. And I'm dealing with it. So when the governor started talking about opening up again, you know, this date, things will happen, this giving the dates that things will be uh, reopening. I saw the date for salons. Well, there's a salon down my block, so every time I walk by, you know, there's a new announcement in their window. But so I checked the website for this salon I had gone to and hoped to return to, and it said that they were going to open next Monday, and everybody who has an appointment. We're going to call you. We're going to get you in. Just be patient. And so I knew it was coming. I knew they were going to call me. And I was very eager to get that phone call and get in and get a haircut. Yes, please. So I knew it was coming. And I didn't call them. And I didn't email them. And I didn't worry about it. I just had faith. Right? It's a business. They're going to be allowed to open again. They say they're going to call us. So, what am I supposed to do? Good morning, Stacy. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to wait. And wait knowing that it's coming. So, yesterday... Good morning, Kristen. So, yesterday my phone rings and I answer, Hi, this is Chris. Hi, Chris, this is Boxy Hair Salon. Oh my God, I'm so glad to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you for calling me. I will take the first available appointment. <laughs> and they were like, okay. And then this morning I realized as I'm watching Abraham Hicks, it's the same thing. All the stuff that you want, you've put it out there. You've thought the thought, right? You made the appointment and you know it's going to be answered. Or do you know? I'm telling you, it's going to be answered. And just like the hair appointment, there's nothing else I can do but wait. Knowing. Waiting in faith. Knowing. Eagerly anticipating. It's coming. And I'm going to be ready. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And I was ready. And the phone rang and I answered it. Yay! <laughs> so... That's pretty much what Abraham Hicks says. You put, put out there what you want, and then you wait. And you wait in faith, and you wait in knowing that it's coming. It's coming. And there's nothing else you need to do about it. There's nothing else I needed to do. There's nothing else I could have done except wait and answer the phone when it rang. I took action. <laughs> My phone rang. And I answered it and I said, thank you. I will be there. <laughs> so there's your Abraham uh, Hicks lesson for the morning. Put it out there and be ready and know it's coming. And that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else to do. You don't have to put in effort. What could I have done? Nothing. Nothing. I could have done anything to get a haircut appointment any sooner. But hey, Tuesday morning, I'm going to be there. 
eagerly awaiting. And yes, with my mask on, I am ready to be ready to be ready. I have a mask. I've got money to pay for my appointment and I know what I want. So remember that. Put it out there. Let it happen. Allow it. And then answer the phone when it rings. And thanks for joining me. Have a lovely Friday morning and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.